2021 is awaiting voting in the third reading after National Assembly members shot down the introduction of value-added tax to basic commodities such as bread as well as the excise duty imposed on local sugar, confectionery and motorbikes. On Thursday afternoon, legislators adopted and passed most of the amendments proposed by Finance and National Planning Committee in what they termed as a move to shield and protect Kenyans. This tax could have affected majority of the hustlers of this country that we do, we represent and we are not shying away from. If you go to our streets everywhere, our small kiosks, what they are trading in the most is confectionery, okay. sweets and so on. So Honorable uh, Chair, this amendment is meant to protect the local manufacturers but impose further excise on the import, imported confectionery. If you want to eat imported chocolate, pay for it. It is clear indication when you actually remove excise, excise duty on conf, uh, locally produced confectionery and heighten what you tax or what you levy on imported confectionery because indeed the local manufacturers are employers of thousands and thousands of Kenyans. And particularly, Chair, I want to support the amendment to impose more duty on things like imported pasta, Honorable Chair. We are getting a lot of things that are luxurious foods, Honorable Chair, being imported in the country by people who can afford to buy those luxurious food commodities, Honorable Chair.